Welcome to Nige App Tutorials. My name is Nige. This is part five of the camera intent tutorial. This is a follow on from the previous tutorial where we captured a small thumbnail of an image via the camera application. In this tutorial, we're actually going to capture the full size image from the camera application and save it into a destination in the camera specified by us. Let's make a start. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is use the camera application to save to a destination in this phone. And for our application to do that, we need write permissions to the phone's storage. So let's set up the permissions. To do that, go into the Manifest folder, Android Studio, click on AndroidManifest.xml and just inside the Manifest tag, I'm going to add a permission, user's permission, and And it's called write external storage, basically permission to write to the storage in the camera. We've now got permission for our application to save an image to, to um, the storage here. So let's go into our activity. The next thing we want to do is to write a function that specifies the location of where we want to write the file to. What should I call it? Uh, create image file. Okay, the first thing I want to do is to create what's called a non-collision file name. In other words, just a unique file name for our file. An easy way for, to do that is to just use the timestamp functionality and append or prepend a timestamp to your file name. So each file name will be individual. So I'm going to do that now. I've got the timestamp now. Now I'm going to just create a field to just add a bit of context to our file name. Now I need to specify the location and environment where I want to save that the storage location for the string to go so we, we create a file so I'm going to select get external storage public directory that means that the file will be available to our applications you can make it private just to your own application if you want but I just want to make it available to everyone. And it gives us a directory inside the environment called pictures. So basically inside our storage here under the pictures location is where our file is going to live.
Now I'm going to create our um, file. So basically, I'm going to use this context here for supplying a prefix, a suffix, which is like a .jpg, and the actual file, file directory location as well. So the first part is going to be prefix, which is the image file name. Suffix is going to be, going to be .jpg. And the um, storage location is going to be our storage directory we set up before. Okay, we're getting an error which is an unhandled exception. So, basic certain function calls um, are quite important, such as writing to memory, reading from memory. The certain functions are quite important. And so basically we want to catch, we want to be notified, we want to catch when something wrong happens. And so in this case, for this particular function, we're going to have to do that. So what we're going to do here is throw an exception if something goes wrong in this case. So a bit of Java code here. So we're going to throw an IO exception. This function here, create temp file, is now happy because we will throw an IO exception if something goes wrong. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a variable in the activity that saves the location of the file we've written to. So we can extract the location of the file from other functions such as the on activity result function. So we'll create it here. the variable now let's assign the location and we'll get that from our file so basically we we're calling a function from the uh, image file object which will turn the absolute file address path address of that and we're going to save that into our variable and another thing we have to do in here is change our void to a file so basically we want to return our file to our function that calls our intent and send the information across to the camera application. So the camera application will know that it has, it's got an address where it will be instructed to save the, um, the uh, image to. So let's return the image file. Okay, now we go to our take photo function. And we're now going to add some extra information to our intent to give an instruction to save the image to um, the address specified by us. So we're going to create a photo variable inside our take photo.
inside here we're going to put our, use our try catch harness go down here and Okay, so basically down the bottom here, we we told this function to throw an I/O exception if something goes wrong when we're writing to the storage. And inside here, we're going to call that function. So we need to sort of catch anything that goes wrong from calling the function. So inside here, we're going to So in photo file, we're going to call our newly created function, create image file. And if the photo file call to the create image file was successful, photo file will now have the um, address of the file where we want the camera to save the image to. The next step here is to add an extra field to our intent, just to put that address into. So we're going to call our intent again. And in this, we're going to say put extra. I'm going to put some extra data in here. And the, um, the field name for this particular field is media. Store extra outputs and the address for that is going to be the URI which we can get from the file. Okay, let me talk a little bit about media store extra output. So this field that we're sending in our intent to the camera application basically tells us it's an intent extra used to uh, store the requested image or file. So basically we're putting the address of our file in with this flag which is going to indicate to a camera application okay oh got some extra data being sent from an application and all about telling us where they want us to save the file to once we take the picture so that's what that is doing there so we've now completed the code for taking the photo now we just have to do something in our on activity result to be able to assign the image that would have been written to the file we specified to the uh, image view so go down here i'm just going to comment this out we don't need to use this now because this is only a bitmap supply default we're now going to get the full image so and we don't need the next line either actually we don't need the next two lines So if we go underneath this line here. Okay, so again we're going to create a bitmap. Let's call it the same name. We're going to use the bitmap factory here and it allows us to decode a file. And we just have to pass it the name that we saved when we created the storage file, which is mimage file location. So we just have to give it that. And 
And the next step is to assign the bitmap again to, to our image view. Just like that. Okay, that should be all the changes we need to make. Let's run this and see what happens. And again, we're going to record that. Let's take a photo of the cup of green tea. And there we have it. We've got this image is a full size image taken from the actual camera application different to the previous tutorial which was just a small thumbnail bitmap so now we've got a nice large image being displayed in our display there which completes this part of the tutorial so let me stop recording okay so now let's step through the code using the debugger to actually see the changes that we made so let's start up the debugger Now press the take photo button. We've now stopped at the first breakpoint. Let's step through that. So here we create a photo file. Therefore, next we call the function that we created to create a photo file. We're going to step into that. So we created time to that just to give the file a unique name. We added some more descriptive data to the file name. We specified the location inside the Android device where we wanted the file to be saved to. Then we actually created our file with that information. Then we created another variable to hold the address of the photo file where we're going to save it to. So we could use it in other functions in the activity. And then we actually return the file itself back for the intent to use. Let's step through that. Okay, everything went okay. We weren't caught inside the trap, uh, the try catch harness, so that was successful. Next thing here is we created our extra field to our intent where we give it, um, it's called the media store extra output, and we give it the URI from the file. And that, that's going to inform the camera application that, hey, ooh, this, this application wants me to save this photo to the location from, from here. Okay, I'll do that. And then we called the, cam we called the camera application itself to actually take the photo. So we'll do that now. So that the camera application from the start activity for result. Starting up the camera now, so just run it once. Take the photo of the green tea. And we've come back into our, our application from the camera application. And from here, we're going to create a bitmap factory that decodes the file. And that file location will now have the data from the camera application. Step down again. And what we're going to do now is with the bitmap, we're going to assign the bitmap to the image view that we originally set up in our relative layout for the activity. So we run that. And voila, here we have the photo of the green tea. And this is a, this is a full size image that we've loaded into this image view. So uh, different from the previous tutorial, which would have just been a small thumbnail of limited resolution. So that's it for this tutorial. 
what we learned here is we learned about files, how to create them and send their addresses to another application. So for example, the camera will save it to those files. We learned about permissions, um, how if we want to use certain parts of an Android device, we often need permission and you set that up in Android manifest.xml. And we also learnt about how to assign a uh, get a bitmap from a file and again write uh, assign that to an image view. So that's the end of this tutorial. Um, got one more tutorial to this series which is going to be the proper way of um, writing an image to an image view is such um, a more efficient way which is very important to the fundamentals of Android. So if you like these types of tutorials and you want to learn about Android, subscribe. And yes, that's all from now. Bye. And take a photo of the cup of green tea again. And we have the actual image itself. Effectively, nothing has changed from the previous tutorial, except what I expect to see here is this but this bitmap image greatly reduced so we're not taking up too much RAM in the system everything happy with our phone okay we can stop recording now